Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King Adu, and we're going to do a quick market update. See what's going on on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, we got a market cap here, as you can see. We just uh, broke 92 uh, billion. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and click on this and take a look at where we've been. Their site's been having a lot of trouble today, so it might not load. Doesn't look like it's going to load. So we're going to skip taking a look at the last 24 hours to see where we're at. But uh, we're crawling up to that 100. It's taking longer than I uh, thought it would. Um, and recent developments suggest that it actually might take a little bit longer. And what I mean by that is um, just in the last hour, we've seen this Bitcoin support failure. So um, right here, you can actually see the, the triangle, the upward uh, trend and the trend lines and the support that existed. Um, we just broke through that. Now, I, I wouldn't say there's anything crazy to get worried about in the short term. You can see that the last time uh, that we kind of broke out of the upward trend where it went and then it came back up. Um, you know, you could probably expect to lose $100 on Bitcoin in the short term and then um, it could technically recover. Uh, maybe this is too aggressive of a trend line upward right now, but um, what what's happening in response is... Um, uh, come over here to BTC versus USD you can kind of see that it's, it's just starting to trail down a little bit it's not too bad in USD but if you actually want to stack it up against Ethereum which is what you guys are mostly interested in it seems like these days um, let me bring this in for you you can see that we hit as I predicted yesterday um, when we first had that uh, crazy shift in momentum in the markets that we would hit 0.1 uh, we just hit 0.1 in the last few minutes and uh, it we looks like we're holding strong uh, we still don't have any support there at that point one however um, you may see this go much much higher uh, in the next hour or two well by much higher I mean you might see a 0.105. Uh, at best, point, uh, one, one, maybe, maybe. It just depends on how quickly the market uh, reacts to that support breaking. Um, again, if I come back over here, and here you can see much more clear, this is 15-minute candles. So that is quite an aggressive sell-off, especially if you look at the five-minute here. You can actually see it going down pretty quickly. Uh, probably some automated stop uh, loss orders and things like that, triggering sell-offs. Um, so we'll see where we regain um, support here. Maybe it's only temporary. Again, uh, we're just using technical analysis to make these predictions. So it's just a probability thing. No one can predict the markets. No one can predict what news could break. But what we do know is that um, essentially as news is spreading and it's becoming more clear about the August hard fork, people are doing their homework, their research, and uh, deciding what the future of Bitcoin looks like for them like um, that fork is going to be critical and uh, for the future of Bitcoin uh, the future of probably all cryptocurrencies actually um, it between now and then with the momentum that Ethereum has if, if it doesn't go well if the markets get shaken up because of it uh, we could see Bitcoin uh, really hurt I know that um, I have a lot of respect for Bitcoin. I don't, I'm not like against it or anything. But at the same time, I keep asking myself every day, are we witnessing the end of it? Are we truly seeing that? Um, and I know some people are going to immediately come on here and say, leave a comment, you're out of your mind, it'll never go away. And yeah, I don't think it'll ever go away. I'm just saying as far as like it being the king, it being, uh, having full dominance, um, you know, we're gonna, we may look back in five years and be like, wow, we didn't even realize what was happening, and then it happened kind of thing. So maybe that's happening, maybe not. Um, but what we do know is um, Ethereum has made the climb. It is officially one-tenth the price, again, of uh, Bitcoin, and uh, we potentially could go uh, see it go higher. Um, a lot of people now are predicting crazy numbers for Ethereum. People are targeting things like uh, $300 by the end of this month. 
um, which is starting to look more realistic with the recent climb. We are also, uh, I've seen some people saying that um, by end of summer, uh, potentially uh, the four to 500. Um, some people I've heard say $1,000 by the end of the year. And um, what's crazy is I actually, I would have never believed any of that uh, probably two months ago, um, but things have changed and they continue to change. And um, if the, this type, type of change keeps on happening, um, it's creating an acceleration for Ethereum, and I don't know where it could land. I really don't. What we do know, um, and there's really really no argument, there's no argument about Ethereum being a better technology than Bitcoin and that it could replace it, etc. Um, so I just think what we're, we're going to see an acceleration of it come up and essentially match, at some point in time, match the uh, market cap of Bitcoin. Um, and so it's going to be a fun, crazy ride along the way. There'll be lots of ups and downs. Um, so there will be some ICOs that people run away with people's money and scare money out of the market. It's going to be good times. Um, and, uh, it's going to be even better times when we get to sit back and talk about it in 10 years. Right. Um, so anyhow, guys, that's just a quick market update. Uh, I'll bring you some news here soon. But uh, I know you guys are watching these markets closely. Uh, right now, you can even see over here, we've got uh, quite a wall building up here. This is USD, though. Uh, people just, uh, you know, looking to get out of uh, Bitcoin here. Uh, definitely some downward pressure right now. And so, again, be looking for that to drop a little bit. Um, I need to go do some technical analysis and figure out the new support levels that are going to uh, be developing here. Um, but... Uh, the news is more important, so I'm going to make sure to get you guys the news here soon. All right? So um, if you like this, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment. We're almost to 1,000. Thank you guys for making that push for me yesterday. Uh, wow, lots of new subscribers. So um, if you guys can help me get there, that'd be amazing. Really, really cool number to get to for me. Uh, just a personal goal I wrote down at one time, and I never would have imagined in a million years it happened this fast. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. All right, guys. Um, I'll be back soon. Um, as always, I'm the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.